I did just watch the first episode of The Walking Dead, so I can claim more nerd cred now. And honestly, now that I'm seeing it and seeing that it started in 2010, I wonder, this must have been the reason that zombie apocalypse was such a thing a couple years ago and now it's clicking. I'm always a little bit behind on stuff. But that makes sense. It's very similar to Zombieland. It, characters are in an environment, survive that. You're trying to figure out what happened, how to survive, and that's it. But honestly, that's all you need. It's The first episode was so atmospheric. Uh, so the main character, Rick Grimes, gets shot, wakes up in a coma. It turns out during that time, zombie apocalypse happened. So he's trying, to fig he's trying to find his wife and son, make sure they're safe. He's taken in by a man and his son, who immediately suspect him of being a zombie at first, gets to learn a bit about them, gets some information, goes on his way. Interesting enough, it takes place in Georgia, which is interesting. I don't, can't think of too many stories that take place in Georgia. Well, maybe I'm just, maybe there are, and I'm just not aware of it as much. But usually my go-to, I, I usually think of New York, LA, or an any town USA feel. But it's cool to see specifically Georgia. The architecture is, has a specificity to it. It feels kinda colonial, kinda not. Somewhere between a New England colonial and a Midwestern farm-like. It got a bit of a, even though I know that's a, even though I know it's a different part of the South, I got a bit of a To Kill a Mockingbird, To Kill a Mockingbird vibe from some of the houses. Uh, just stuff I've noticed, and the honestly, most of the episode is just setting up this world and trying to. You get just as much of a sense of disorientation as the main character. The way it's shot, the way it's edited, the sound, the sound editing is very, very good you feel this sense of disorientation the same way that Rick Grimes does, and it's really well done. It's very dramatic, it is intense, and the zombies are budget, oh my god, the budget's very good for this, it's crazy. But overall it feels like this is someone, it feels, this is someone is a badass but also has human limitation and is it feels very realistic as well but it can also tap into the fantasy of oh what if it is just you your family and friends against the world which i think is part of the reason it's so successful but i think that's why the genre is very very successful uh, because of that because we are we love fantasizing about the end of the world i've noticed that is very popular lately well there's always been i mean the 50s was similar that there was a every Every decade has its end of the world trend. So I guess this is ours, at least the beginning of the 2010s, which is interesting. I think that's that's pretty cool to see. Disaster movies, I've noticed. We love our dystopian reality right now. So that's fa that's also fascinating. I haven't, I, so I'm still in the setup. I'm sure it gets really really good I am I am curious to find out what happens I am very invested already even if I don't know too much about them oh I like this one detail about how oh and Morgan and Dwayne are talking about you know their lives with, with Rick they get to know him a bit and they're talking about their wives and they said that the women always pack the photo albums and that is something I would totally do. <laughs> Kills me. I would be bringing my high school yearbooks and the photo albums, and and, we're, and would be get. I'd be the one getting yelled at, even though my mentality would be like, I'm trying to capture my humanity. I'm trying to make sure I don't go crazy. So it's a way to stay human, way to stay sane. That would be my mentality. Whereas the guys are all about survival, survival, pack the survival gear, pack the practical stuff, the guns, the food, necessary supplies. <laughs> so 
Good job on that detail. That was really funny. And I'm curious as to... I am curious as to where it's gonna go. If I do more, if I watch more, I'll definitely be posting about that. The atmospheric setup, I see why it got as big as it did because it is very well done. It's got the right amount of simplicity, but depth. And it's, yeah, that, all that. I lost my train of thought for a second. But it's simple, but depth, and it's it's a straightforward story. It feels very genuine, one hundred percent of the time. Even though this stuff is done before, we've seen zombie movies before. Interesting. Yeah, I think it's very straightforward for what it is for for their take on zombies. But I think more. But the fact that they're playing on more the survival element and the dystopian future, but with a very unique twist, really makes it stand out. And I know there's gonna be some really cool characters that come later on. So as for zombies, someone was talking about, you know, if I was into zombies, this would be a really good one to check out. And one thing I thought was interesting was the most unique, the most unique take I've seen on zombies recently was the CW show iZombie which I thought had such a cool concept to it. It was, so for those of you who don't know that one, it, uh, a former, someone, a former doctor gets a scratch by a zombie at this party that gets out of hand. And so that's all it takes, it's a scratch not, as opposed to a bite. But every time, but she's still, she's still conscious and she still retains her humanity, but now she's pale, uh, has platinum blonde hair, a very bright, uh, I think it affects her eyes too, but it makes her very pale. And every time she eats a brain, she gets the memories of the deceased, which she uses to solve murders. I think that is a really cool concept. Whereas Walking Dead generally, the, these zombies in Walking Dead are stripped of their humanity altogether. So that is a very interesting take. On zombies which it's pretty straightforward as well but you feel like you still have to make these tough choices and they're very fun to play with that's what I took away from it it's full of action you get all the good you get the shoot em outs that people tend to like in television it feels it feels like classic television it feels like a pop culture staple and I don't know how to explain that but, it feel, uh, but I've seen a lot of classic TV that's like this. Especially with the, the early days with the big budget shoot em outs, the big action packed shows. It's not better than anything, I think that's, it's awesome. It works. And that's what I take away from it. It is very engaging, fun to overanalyze, and interesting to, you do really get a visual sense of what these characters are going through. So. It, you can easily think, oh, what do I know about myself? How can I put myself in their shoes? Would I make these same choices? I think I would have been dead, personally. <laughs> but, or I would have run and hid in a, in a shelter somewhere until it all ends. Anyways, <laughs> that's one overanalyze. What would you do in a zombie apocalypse? Oh, what's that now? Oh, actually, it kind of reminds me <gasps> Yeah, this was earlier too, because my uh, one of, one of my high school yearbook senior superlative proposals was most likely to survive a zombie apocalypse. That was rejected for I can't remember why, but I remember my year because I was a yearbook editor and I had the say. I was able to do um, most likely to survive the end of the world, which is so that was really funny. And I think yeah, I think it's fun. Oh yeah, that's because because the, uh, there were a lot of disaster movies even back then, which I've been out of high school for what six years now. That's crazy. Zombie apocalypse. It's still a thing. <laughs>